Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video. It is going to be my Partners in Cream update for the month of April. This project was created by Steph and Delin. Both of them will be linked below. There's a playlist. You can search, search the hashtag Partners in Cream Project Pan. The whole idea of this project is that we are just focused on cream and liquid products, no powders allowed. It is as simple as that. I currently have six products that I am working on and I have a couple of one empty and a couple of rollouts. Well, one empty two roll ins and we'll get into it. So if you're interested in seeing my update for the Partners in Cream Project Pan, stay tuned. First, if you have yet to subscribe to my channel and you like project panning content or just chit chatting about makeup, I would love if you'd consider subscribing before moving on. And other than that, let's jump into the video. All right, I'm still in my pajamas and have the messy bun, but I did do my makeup. I am trying to like film this and get this updated. I am trying to film this and get this posted in the next like two hours or so. So I'm kind of in a bit of a time crunch, but I really wanted to post this on the day that everyone else is posting theirs. Um, like I said in the introduction, I do have an empty. I will save that for the end. And I'm actually gonna be rolling in two new products and we'll get into why. So I chose to work on six products in this project. One of them being a nail polish because I've never worked on a nail polish before. And I just kind of wanted to like gauge how long it would take me to use up a nail polish. I love buying new nail polishes. My nail polish collection is often, is always out of control. You guys talked me out of purchasing a nail polish set during the Sephora VIB sale. And thank goodness, because I definitely didn't need more nail polish. But we'll start with the nail polish. So this is from Nails Inc. And this is in the shade Rainbow Wishes. And this is where I marked this when we started this project in January. I think I marked my line wrong because I have worn this so freaking much. And still, I cannot change the line marking. I probably put this, I've put this on my nails or repainted my nails with this color at least six or seven times this year. And this is the only toenail polish color I've used this year. So when I rolled this in, this weighed at 55 grams. Last update, it was at 54 grams. This update, it's still at 54 grams. And I can't change the line marking. Like I feel like actually maybe I could change my Sharpie line like a millimeter lower, but then the two would just kind of like blend into each other. So I'm getting a little bit frustrated with this. It's definitely proven to me that girlfriend, stop buying so much nail polish because you're literally never gonna get through it. I am likely going to continue to paint my toenails this color the majority of the rest of the year. And occasionally maybe I'll paint this my nail polish, like use this as my actual nail polish, but I get bored if I use the same nail polish over and over and over again. So I'm gonna roll in, I'm gonna still track my nail polish in this project, but I'm not gonna be working on it as diligently. So I am gonna roll in a different makeup product to replace this nail polish, but we're not necessarily replacing it, we're just adding in another product. Mostly because I just wanted to give myself motivation to reach for another product. Um, let's go into my Buxom Lip Gloss next. So this is the Buxom Full On Lip Polish in the shade Erica. Last year, throughout my Partners in Cream Project Pan, I focused on trying to cycle through all of my Fenty Beauty gloss bombs, like mini gloss bombs that I would get in holiday sets. I think it, I think I finished up three or four uh, lip glosses mini gloss bombs throughout the course of last year which was super exciting and I have quite a few of these buxom full-on lip polishes that are quite old in my collection so I thought this year throughout this project I would cycle through my buxom lip gloss collection when we started this project I had taken the stopper out of this lip gloss and I don't know why because it definitely was not ready for the stopper to come out so when I rolled this in it was stopperless and it was right up here and this is the progress that we've made since. So pretty consistent, but I will say like, I had the best progress probably from January to February and then pretty consistent progress the last couple of months. If I continue at the same rate, I definitely have at least two to three more months of work to do on this. Now I will say this is a really fun, it's like a pale pink sort of shade with some shimmer to it. Kind of like what I have on today, except for with some shimmer. And I love like a pale pink lip for the summertime. So maybe I can crank this out a little bit faster. I, if I put a little bit more effort into it, I will say, I don't feel like I've been like diligent about this product. It's just like when I remember it, I remember it. Um, but if I don't, I don't. And still I feel like I've made good progress using it in that capacity. So I'm hoping, I don't think there's any way I'd have this finished up by next update in May, but I'm hoping by June, I will have this finished up. I forgot that 
there's quarterly refreshes in this project. I can't remember if the quarterly, quarterly refresh was last month or if it would be this month, but I'm not refreshing any of my products. I'm actually having fun using all of my products. Let's jump into my Laura Mercier Caviar Stick next. So I have the little mini in the shade Rose Gold, and this is just not the type of product I reach for ever unless I have reason to. With this all the way all the way rolled down, it, it is like lower in the packaging. It doesn't like come up over the packaging all the way rolled down now. I hope I'm making some sort of sense. And then all the way rolled up, this is how much product we have left. So I have made some decent progress on this. Usually I kind of use this almost as like an eyeshadow base and then I go over this with eyeshadow. But I will say on days that I'm like running out the door to work and I want a little something on my eyes, like I've done maybe like a tinted moisturizer and I want a little something on my eyes, sometimes I'll just toss this on and then pat it out. Um, it's super easy to just pat out with your finger and then it just adds like a little bit of a wash of like shimmer to your lids and it's really beautiful i don't necessarily know that i would purchase another caviar stick or like a set of caviar sticks i feel like laura mercier usually has a set around the holidays i don't feel like i would repurchase this just because it's not a product that i get super excited about i'm using it because it's in a project and i have the product and i want to finish it up but I'm not necessarily using it because I'm excited about it. I'll post my line markings over here. We have seen some good movement in this product since the beginning of this project, which I'm really excited about because this likely would have gotten no use thus far this year had it not been in this project. While we've seen some change in like the line markings, so movement there, this has had no weight change since the introduction. This weighed seven grams at the introduction and still weighs seven grams today. My Buxom lip gloss, I forgot to mention, this weighed 21 grams at the introduction 20 grams last update and still weighs 20 grams today. So no more weight movement in that product either. Next up we have a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow that I'm working on. This is in the shade By The Pound. It was a limited edition shade in collaboration with Halo Top Ice Cream, which back in the day I was like obsessed with Halo Top Ice Cream. So I had to purchase a couple of their sets. I do still have, I think two of their Super Shocks left. This is beside the point. When I rolled this in, this weighed 14 grams. This weighed 13 grams last update and so weighs 13 grams today. I feel like, so I think last update I gave myself the goal of fully uncovering like this ring. And I will say this side of the product was much higher or much more raised. And I was kind of focusing on obviously that side to try and uncover the ring, but there was quite a bit more product than I anticipated or really thought that there was there. So it's definitely taking a little bit more effort. Last year, I used this product to cycle through my entire ColourPop Super Shock Shadow collection um, and try and hit pan on everything, which typically doesn't take that long for ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. But to actually finish up a ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, I have never done it and it's taking forever. There is a different ColourPop Super Shock, actually the partner to this one in the same like line, um, they came together in a set is what I'm trying to say. Uh, I've been working on that one for like two years throughout my like graveyard projects. I believe it was in one of my full year long project pans and it's taking forever to hit pan or to finish up the products. What am I trying to say? Anyway, I have been using this quite consistently consistently i love the shade i really like to layer this over top of my laura mercier caviar stick and kind of just pair those two together on days that i'm not looking to do too much with my makeup um as you can tell it just gives a really beautiful like glossy sort of effect there's a bit of like a blue and purple sparkle running through it but it's nothing overpowering and i also love to top this on top of like pink tone looks like today i could have potentially put it on top of this look as well and that would have been really fun i am going to push that back in just a little bit because anyway i am going to give myself the goal again to even just uncover this center ring so like over on this side as well but i do try and like evenly swirl my finger when i am using this product um i have not had any issues with this drying out or feeling more dry so I'm going to continue to work on this. This I anticipate will take me most of the year to finish up, but my goal is to actually empty that product out. Next up, I have my Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. So when this, when I started this project, I had rolled in my e.l.f. Putty Primer. I hit pan on that primer, and then I decided I wanted to work on my Tarte Primer because it was older in my collection, and I believe it was like my oldest pore filling primer, and so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try and finish this up. This has quickly become one of my absolute favorite primers of all time. I absolutely wanna repurchase this when I finish this. I will try and finish up some of my other pore filling primers before repurchasing this, but this is really nice 
because it does a really nice job of filling truly filling in the pores and i love using it on my forehead as well it is a more mattifying primer and it is a little bit heavier um but i i do really enjoy this i think this does a really nice job of really smoothing out the skin um and i believe when i rolled this in i don't think i had pan yet um i'll obviously be posting pictures over to the side i do obviously have a pan now and i've kind of just like been evenly working on all areas of this product just a little bit of product for this primer goes a very long way so i feel like this is going to take me at least at least three to four more months to finish this up but i'm enjoying using it so i have no problem with that when i rolled this in this weighed 78 grams it weighed 76 grams last update and 72 grams this update. Pretty much every single time I do my makeup, I'll start with a hydrating primer, do my eyeshadow, and then I'll go back in to do the rest of my complexion. And I always use this in my T-zone and on my forehead. So I almost use this every single time I do my makeup. Very excited to see the weight change there. And then the sixth product that I have to update you guys is my empty. And I have... Woohoo! Finally successfully finished up, emptied out my Herborean CC cream. I just had the deluxe size. I believe this cost $24, which is rather expensive for this size. However, this also lasted me a really long time and I will pick up another one, likely in this size for the summer, just because it is the perfect, like if you're just running errands, but you want to even out your complexion, it's perfect for that. I have mine in the shade door, which is too dark for me if I don't have a self tan, but with even like a natural summer tan from the um, sun outside or like the self tanning I will do in the summertime. This is a really nice shade match for me too. So I usually don't put self tanning product on my face. So this also helps to like match my face to the rest of my body. And I just absolutely love this product. When I rolled this in, this weighed 16 grams. Last update, it weighed 11 grams. And now with just the packaging and lid alone, it weighs eight grams and it is officially an empty, which I'm very excited about. I think this is my first foundation. Foundation, it's more of like a tinted moisturizer, but my first foundation empty of the year. So I'm very, very excited about this and I will be rolling in a product to replace that. So let's get into the two products that I'm going to be bringing in to this project. So to replace my Herborean CC cream, I did want to choose another like lighter coverage foundation and I decided to go with my Tarte Maracuja Tinted Hydrator. Now this is a product I've worked on throughout various projects. This used to be a favorite product of mine and last year after all of the new tinted moisturizers and just lighter coverage foundations came about and I purchased so many and tried so many, this just wasn't a favorite after i think i tried out like maybe like nine or ten new foundations last year so this kind of like fell in the rankings a little bit not something i currently would repurchase but still a nice product would love to just finish this up because i obviously won't be replacing it at least with the same product so then we can decrease my foundation makeup inventory numbers so there's quite a few line markings on this just because it's been in so many other projects but this is where we are currently at this is where we currently stand we have about a fourth of this product left and this is also another really good mixing foundation so if i have a foundation that's a little bit too light i like to mix this in um just because it's a little bit darker this currently weighs 26 grams i'm hoping I probably have like three months at least with this especially like i need to like make an effort to use this one i feel like this just isn't one that like gets me excited to reach for anymore so that's why i'm putting this in this project to give me motivation to reach for it hoping that maybe i could just bust through that in like two months but i'm guessing it'll be at least three and then i actually finished a lip product that I worked on all year last year in this project it's the kaja kaja Earhart. this is kind of a spoiler alert and I finished that lip product off and I was still thinking it was I was working on in this project So I picked out a lip product to replace it with And then I realized I was actually I had rolled in my Kaja Earhart into my deck of panning project pan So I was like, oh, well, I still kind of like I was excited to Reach for this lip product and with the deck of panning project pan. It's roulette style So I can't necessarily guarantee I'll get another lip product category. So that's why I decided to just add this seventh product in. And again, I'm not going to be as aggressively working on the nail polish. So to me, it's like kind of makes sense. I mean, I'll probably regret this just because I feel like I'm panning so many things. But let me get to what the product is. It's one of my oldest lipsticks in my collection. It's the Stila. I don't even think they make these anymore. Color Bomb Lipstick in the shade Emma. But I thought I would pull this out because I feel like 
color balms or like just lip balms in general are kind of having their moment again i feel like this product you guys please don't judge me it still like smells normal but i feel like this is at least at least four years old possibly six <laughs> don't don't say anything i already know this is well beyond its expiration but that's okay it literally does still smell fine and like when i roll this up it doesn't even have like it doesn't even have like the white that gets around it or like bubbles around it and like i said it still smells like minty and normal so i'm gonna go for it by the way this is it all the way rolled up this currently weighs 15 grams it's a really beautiful like again kind of like sheeny balmy sort of shade it's a really fun like pinky peach i felt like it would be perfect for this time of year um i've mentioned a couple times but i have a new job and i'm dressing more like business professional and like actually wanting to like reapply my lip product throughout the day um so i'm excited about this i do feel like this is another product that is probably more of a long haul product will take me a little bit more time but i do need to either declutter this or like actually actively work on getting this out of my collection so that is what this one looks like again swatched and that will be rolling in my goal is ultimately to finish that product off so that is going to wrap it up for today's partners in cream project pan update i hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you've recently finished up any products let a girl know in the comments thank you guys so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel as you guys always do i'm about to wrap this video up and then get to editing and getting get to uploading and then um i think i'm going to head to the mall this afternoon so thank you guys so much for supporting me supporting my channel have a wonderful day i love you guys so much and i'll catch you in my next video bye